I'm Brooke Boone, like from Holy Yoga. Um, I want to introduce to you my friend, but I'm not sure she'll come to me. Echo, come. Come here. Mm-hmm. She's a very rebellious dog. Come here. Come here. I just heard a story about Echo. Her owner got the carpets cleaned yesterday, and the moment she was... <laughs> The moment it was done, she pooped right on it. No, no, let's not do that. I've seen where that tongue goes, and I don't want, oh, mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, can I tell you something? Just for a moment, this dog, if I ever come back, if I believed in reincarnation, I'd come back as this dog. Her name's Echo. She has a porcelain toilet bowl, like dog dish that she drinks out of. It's ridiculous, but um, yeah. Yeah. So today's blog. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So listen up. Today's blog comes from the book of Galatians 1.1. One, one. Here's the deal about the nature and the divinity of God. It is not defined. It is revealed. Let me say that to you again. The divinity of God is never defined. It is always revealed. I love that about this. Uh, Galatians 1.11, Paul is saying, I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preach is not of human origin. You know what I'm saying? There's no amount of definition of the gospel that you're going to receive in your brain and your cognitive ability to apply this thing to your life. You know what I'm saying? There, like, yes, renew uh, your mind with the word of God. Be conscious of it. Be engaged in it. It is a lamp unto our feet. It teaches us about who God is and thereby draws us into the nature of God and into the likeness of Christ. Absolutely. But what Paul is saying and what I'm saying is that there's this element of God that is not defined by human cognitive thinking. It's not, you can't get smart enough to perceive the fullness of God. There is this mystery element of divinity that is not defined by words or logic, but it is felt, it is experienced, it is a drawn up and into type of experience with God. So I love this when Paul is saying, hey, listen, what you need to know is that everything that I preach is not of human origin. It goes way beyond even the smartest, most lawful, most righteous people. It says, I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it, Rather, I received it by revelation in Jesus Christ. I wonder today where you are. I ask myself this question all the time. Where are you in terms of the mystery of Christ? Where are you in terms of the placement of your heart where you're positioned to receive something that's so far beyond you? Do we like to put God in a box where we can understand him and perceive him and thereby somehow own him? That's the real question. I think Paul is speaking to me and to you and to everybody to say, hey, listen, there's this mystery to God and the mystery that is Revelation Christ Jesus that you need to be aware of and be positioned for. You need to be ready for that, right? And not ready in a way of let's figure this out, but ready in a way that says, I'll move where you move. Spirit, you move and I'll move with you. So I hope that blesses you today. I hope that you can somewhere and somehow resonate with that. I love the word of God. I love that it does transform our lives. So take that little nugget, place it deep into your heart, and water it with belief and faith and knowledge that God is doing a great thing in you, for you, and through you. Have an amazing day.